An experiment consists of multiple identical or near identical trials, each of which has an uncertain outcome. An event is a particular outcome of a trial. In a coin toss experiment, a coin is thrown 100 times. Here each trial is a throw of the coin. So we try to make each trial identical to every other trial as much as possible. And the outcome, heads or tails, is uncertain. We are interested in the event that heads occurs. We will call this event H. Let's suppose that 46 heads appeared in this experiment. We say that the frequency of the event H is 46 and the relative frequency of H is got by putting the frequency of H, which is 46, over the total number of trials in the experiment. So we get 0 0.46 in this case. So in general, the frequency of an event is the number of outcomes of the event in the experiment, and the relative frequency of an event is the number of outcomes of the event in the experiment divided by the number of trials in the experiment. So we're comparing the frequency to the total number of trials in the experiment. Now suppose that more experiments were conducted which involved throwing the kind 150, 300, 600 and 1000 times. So we're going to look at a simulation of a coin toss experiment and we're going to fill out this table and look for a trend in the relative frequency of heads. So you can find this program here and I'm going to plug in 150 tosses. We can bring up a table of results here. We can get the frequency of heads which you can see is 70. We can also see the frequency of tails. Of course, these two numbers must add up to 150. We're just going to look at heads. If you click on ratio, you can get the relative frequency. That's the uh, frequency of heads divided by the number of tosses. And you can see it's 0.4667. Now let's repeat the experiment for 300 tosses. So we're effectively doubling the number of tosses. We can get a list of the results of 300 tosses of this kind. You can scroll down through it. It's not too helpful here. We can bring up a table to get the frequency of heads. And uh, if we get to click on ratio, we can get the relative frequency of heads to total tosses, which you can see is 0.55. Now let's look at 600 tosses. Again, we can bring up the frequency of heads and we can bring up the relative frequency, which is 0.47. Finally, let's look at 1000 tosses. So for this, we get 0.474. Well, we can see that these numbers are floating around 0 0.5. Um, unfortunately, I cannot toss more than 1,000 kinds using this program. What I can do, however, with this program to get around the problem of not being able to toss more than 1,000 kinds is to show the cumulative stats. So, for example, I put in 1,000 here and I toss 1,000 kinds, and we can bring up a table, point, uh, 503 heads out of 1,000 kinds, we can get the ratio, which is 0 0.503. What I can then do is toss another 1,000 kinds, and select Show Cumulative Stats. And, uh, well, I'm back to 506. Let's do this again. See, now we're getting the results for 2,000 tosses of a kind, we get 981 heads. So now the relative frequency of heads is 0 0.4905. That's for 2,000 tosses. Let's toss this again. Go back to table. So it's accumulating the results. So effectively, we're looking at the number of heads from 3,000 tosses here. And if we get this ratio, we get 0.4877. And I can keep going like this. Uh, from now on, I'll, I'll just put up the ratios. 
So it's 5,000 tosses here. 6,000 tosses. We notice the relative frequency is floating around 0 0.5. It's getting quite close to 0 0.5 now. Just moved away from it there, but it'll probably go back. Now it's gone back close to 0.5. It's moving away a bit here, but in the long run, it's probably going to keep approaching 0 0.5. Now I'm after running 150,000 tosses, simulated tosses, and the relative frequency is 0.498, and it appears to be approaching 0.5. So if the relative frequency of heads approaches 0 0.5 as more tosses occur, then we say that the probability of the event heads occurs, which is written P of H, is 0 0.5. We can also see that the relative frequency of tails appears to be approaching 0 0.5. The relative frequency of heads plus the relative frequency of tails is equal to 1. That's easy to see because if we add these two fractions, the blue fraction is the relative frequency of heads, and add it onto the relative frequency of tails, we have the same common denominator of 150,000. So when we add the numbers on top, we get 150,000. Because when we throw a coin, there are only two outcomes, either heads or tails. So the total number of outcomes is the sum of the heads and tails on our coins, and that must add up to 150,000. So we'll end up, when we add these two fractions, we will get 1. So these two numbers add to 1. So that since the relative frequency of tails is approaching 0.5, we can say that the probability of getting tails when we throw a coin is 0 0.5. So, it appears that the relative frequencies of both heads and tails are the same as we take more and more tosses of the coin. So that means it appears that the probabilities are the same. And if that is the case, if the probabilities are the same, we say that the coin is unbiased or it is a fair coin. Unbiased means it's not biased towards landing on heads or biased towards landing on tails. It is equally probable to land um, with heads appearing or with tails appearing.